Right, so it is Belgian trains time and as always I've got slightly less time to record than I actually need so I'm going to make a quick tour of De Pan station. The plan is De Pan to Lichterveld, Lichterveld Bruges, Bruges to Alter so probably a variety of different trains and such like so let's see how we get on with SNCB. Our ticket costs €13.80 Euros each and outside De Pan station we've got this coat of arms with the Belgian state motto, Unity Brings Strength, which evidently was brought in after the 1830 revolution, although I'm sure somebody out there can correct me if I'm wrong. Tapana Station is very pleasant, nothing too remarkable there, so I think we should get outside. So while I check out the facilities, here's our journey. We're starting in Tapana, heading down to Lichterveld, then up to Bruges, and then back down to our base at Alter. 50 cents? I don't think so. So our first train of the evening is an electric multiple unit, class 96. Uh, these were introduced in 96 onto the Belgian railway network. And I've never seen a train that looks anything like that. Do you think that rubber is vulcanized? So let's get on board this Class 96 and have a wee look around. So they may not win any awards externally for their looks, but inside I think this looks very smart. Clean, I like the 2-2 seating layout, spacious, you've got a big table there and a bin under the table. So all in all, just what you need. So far so good. And the seat was excellent, plenty padding, very comfy indeed. All in all thumbs up and overhead there's a little bit of luggage space as well. Now on to the toilet. Right it's me in the toilet again and we've failed at the first hurdle haven't we? Can't even get the door to lock. Maybe that is locked. Right what have we got? A mirror. Hello. Have a shave if you wish. There. Oh, that seems to be working. It's quite compact. I'm not sure what that's for. Clearing it up. Mm. Do you put your cigarette in there if you were smoking? I don't know. As I pondered just what that little metal disc in the toilet was used for, we departed on time at 1841. Do you know what that little metal disc in the toilet's used for? Soap? There was no Wi-Fi provision, but surely when you're on a train, you just want to be looking out the window anyway. So here's some of the Belgian countryside.
So that was the curious looking Class 96, but um, apart from its looks, I couldn't fault it, it was, it was really really good. Um, we were only on it for about 30 minutes, 35 minutes, it was very spacious, uh, the seat was decent enough and the ride quality was outstanding, it was just, just great. So that's train number one, next we are going from Lichterveld to Bruges, so we'll see how we get on there. In the interests of transparency, I should let it be known that I didn't think this was our train and it was only Mrs Tim's Travel's insistence that it was that we actually got on, so thank goodness for that. We've got this kind of nice bench style seating and again, perfectly adequate, very comfy, big table there also and a weary traveller. Departing Lichterveld a few minutes late, I can tell you that we are on a Class 80 electric multiple unit. These were introduced onto the Belgian rail network between 1980 and 1983. And I would say they are showing their age a wee bit, but once again, the ride quality was excellent. As for the toilet, I'm not even bothering. This second leg between Lichterveld and Bruges took just 20 minutes. So at this point, I would just like to say thank you to everyone who subscribes to the channel. And if you haven't yet done so, maybe you would consider subscribing. I also have a Ko-fi page where you can get early access to videos and keep up with me there. And there's a link in the description if you would like to follow me and support the channel on Ko-fi. Anyway, we're just pulling in to Bruges. Thirdly, we have this double-decker M7 train. These began revenue service in 2020. Now, I have a real soft spot for double-decker trains, largely because we don't have any in the UK, and I think this looks great. And for this third leg, between Bruges and Alder, we'll be on the train for the grand total of 14 minutes.
overall the toilet was clean but there was no loo roll which i would say is a prerequisite for a toilet up there is the holy grail of first class we'll maybe have a look up there later on Here's first class and it looks good, it looks fresh, I love the seats, it looks quiet, um, but in terms of space, I'd just stick with second class, there was loads of room in second class, admittedly it is quieter there, but I don't really see the need to pay the extra money to be honest. Um, what about you? Would it be first class every time or are you happy in second? What can we say about today's experience on SNCB? thumbs up loved all the trains that we traveled on they had their quirks they were great what i thought was brilliant about all of them was the ride quality it was just outstanding just smooth fabulous the price 13 euros 80 for all that travel you can't argue with that either so big thumbs up for sncb have you traveled with sncb in belgium what are your thoughts please do let me know in the comments and look out for the next video oh and as always thank you so much for watching